How many hours a week do you play video games? Do you have children in your house? Do you do you raise these these little creatures called kids? How many hours a week do they get to play video games? I'm curious. Let me know what you think is too much because that's it's so hard to quantify and to say like this is too much in a day, this is too much in a week type of thing. I mean, I think there's going to be like blanket statements where it's like, "Oh, if you're sitting around playing games for 12 hours a day and that's the norm, yeah, that could be a fucking problem." But you know what? I don't live in China, obviously, so I don't have to abide by their rules. But I just saw that in China, there is a new restriction being imposed on China's youth. Three hours a week of video games. That's not like a combination of, oh, well, today I finished this, so I'm going to play this game for a half hour and accumulate time. No! And I don't even understand how they can, like... The, like monitor this i'm sure maybe they monitor it somehow but how how, do, how can they enforce it three hours a week if you're under 18 spread over three days very specific times very specific days friday saturday and sunday from 8 p.m to 9 p.m that's it that's it little kid you get one hour a night china is the home to tons of freaking video game companies a lot of these gotchapon type games you got these big ass companies like Tension and and whatnot who are just behemoths in the video game industry. And yes, gaming addiction is a fucking problem. I gets it. But in China, three hours restriction. I don't know, man. I know when I when I was a kid, I played games quite a bit. Uh, I, I'm sure I played more than three hours a week. I'm pretty damn sure I did. But I also went outside and I enjoyed life. I did things I probably shouldn't have been doing. But I don't regret doing them because it kind of helped shape who I am today type of thing. But yeah, you know, being a kid, we were all kids at one point. If you weren't a kid, I don't know what the fuck, you know, you were doing. But, you know, we were all kids at some point. Maybe you played games. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you did other things. But, you know, I, I don't think I'm a um, I'm a, a, a crazy person. Maybe some people disagree. I don't really care. But, you know, playing games as much as I've done in the past, uh, I, it, it hasn't made me to be like some kind of like lunatic in society i've never tried to mimic anything i've seen in a game so i don't i don't know but in china this three hour a week restriction um they they did have something to say a, a nppa spokesperson and i understand where they're coming from so they start off by saying teenagers are the future of our motherland now i, I don't live out in china but you know where i live i, I do agree the youth is the future of you know society as, as long as your kid's not a gremlin, a little piece of shit, and the kid knows from right from wrong, and, you know, fantasy from reality, definitely they're the future. That's just the way it is, because you grow up, you grow older, you, you know, run businesses, you work, you, you know, become part of something, you know what I mean? You raise your own families, you keep that cycle going type of thing. So yeah, of course, kids, they're the future. But they went on to state that protecting the physical and mental health of minors is related to the people's vital interests and relates to the cultivation of the younger generation in the era of national rejuvenation. They got to rejuvenate that place, I guess. Um, I, I feel ultimately, and, and my problem with this, like I said, it's not really my problem, but I just have opinions and thoughts on it is that three hours a week, I, I can't say that's bad or good. I think it's the point that when a government says, this is how you're gonna raise your kids, that's a fucking problem to me. Like, you ain't gonna come into my home as long as my kids understand right from wrong, they're responsible, uh, they understand, you know, fantasy from reality. You're not gonna tell me how to raise my kids. I don't give a shit who you are. Doesn't, doesn't matter, just not the way it works around here. And if you try, we're gonna have a problem. So that's where my opinion comes into play is that I, I just think like it, and if you're a parent and you're being told this is the restriction in place, first off, how do they regulate that? I, I, I know there's all sorts of craziness with monitoring and, and whatnot. Like, do they monitor that? Do they cut their electricity? Is it like 9.05 p.m. comes along, their kid's still playing like Genshin Impact or something? Like, does the government come knocking down their door? and confiscates their kids and put them in like some kind of some kind of camp to rehabilitate them or something are the parents fined like that's just nuts like i don't understand like how how this can even be uh you know instated and and actually you know 
acted upon. Like, how do you enforce that? I, I just don't get that. That's that's freaking nuts, man. Like, I'm sure a lot of these companies out there in China, like their stocks have probably gone down. I seen there was an article where they were discussing uh, people who were on China's like uh, their social media, uh, Weibo, Weibo, or whatever the hell it's called, where they were like just talking shit. Like they're pissed. Like this freaking nuts. Like how, how how can they how can they do this? And and from what I seen, people are talking about like you know, it's very similar to. Uh, issues that you have in any country where it's like, oh, okay, well, like targeted advertising on YouTube. Like you can't target advertising to children and you have to be like over 13 or something. I don't remember the age to have like a YouTube account, but what 12 year old, 11 year old, 10 year old is like logging into YouTube saying that they're 10 years old. You know what I mean? Like kids ain't stupid. Like they're going to get around these things. So if it's like in China, kids have to have their own accounts. Like, aren't they just going to lie if that's how the restrictions are imposed? Like, wouldn't the kid just lie? Wouldn't they just use their parents' logins type of thing or, like, whatever? Like, I don't understand how. Like, kids aren't that dumb, man. Kids will find a way. It's just how the world works. Kid wants to play a game for fucking three, four hours a night, and the parents are okay with it. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be strict parents that, like, like, you know what? This is a blessing that the government says that the kids can't play more than this and we're gonna enforce it. Okay, little little Timmy, get the fuck off. It's it's 8.59 p.m., get off, you're off now, right? And, and they're happy with that, but then I'm sure there's gonna be parents that are just like, ah, oh, yeah, screw this noise. Like, I'm not gonna enforce this in my house. Like, go ahead, you can play a little bit longer type of thing. I, I just find this nuts, man. Like I said, it, it's not so much the restriction of time, it's just the government imposing these restrictions it, it, you know being somebody who's had you know quite a bit more freedoms than that in my life um when it comes to being able to enjoy entertainment uh certain things not being censored and stuff like that you know do i look at like there's gonna be positives or negatives out of this for sure there can be pros for sure it's just the case by case thing but i think it like this kind of thing if it's like a government agency trying to speak on mental and physical health of the the youth, maybe they should have recommendations. Like if you recommend this three hours a week is good, maybe some parents will take that with value. Maybe others won't. Like, but to enforce it, I just don't understand it. It's freaking nuts, man. Let me know what you guys think down below. Really do appreciate every single one of you guys. All of you. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye and boom. Bye.